if this works, but well, if you're watching, of course they're watching, you need to get back to the engineering desk. Can you print your own ITAP clamps instead of buying them? Are they any good? I found some 3D models online, so I thought we can print them out and try to see how they are working. And also found some other ITAP accessories. Yeah, nice, let's kick it. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. Welcome to another episode of the Freak Show. We're back with another ITAP 3D printer combined episode. I found some models online, we're gonna try to print it out. But before we print out the clamps, I found some like holders for the ITAP. I could stick them on the side of the fridge here, I think. So let's kickstart the printer and see if they work. Okay, I decided to print three of these. First I did a test number one and then I printed out two more. And this, this seems to be working. They are really smart constructors, so but very easy to print out. There's also a hole here in the middle so you can screw them to whatever you want. But I have drilled a lot in my fridge on this side, but as I have the eye tap there in the way and I'm a little bit lazy, I'm just gonna try to do this with expensive sticky tape. And before we start writing a nasty comment, I realize as much as you that this is totally overkill and over-engineered, but that's the fun with it. If you want to make Gary something simple instead, well do that. For me this is fun. Now you can write the nasty comment. I will of course link to all of the prints down below if you want to give them a go or just check them out, whatever. And while you're down there there's also a link to Patreon channel members or you can buy me a beer if you want to sponsor the channel. Thank you. The reason why I printed three holders is that I have four clamps, but one could be stationary on the eye tap and the rest could be mounted on the fridge. Maybe I should have printed out some holder for the G-Connect also. What this is? This is sauerkraut from the sauerkraut video. Go and watch that after this one. Links down below. But that will have to wait because I'm stoked about printing out the clamps. All printed out, this took like 17 hours to print out more even. And the reason why I printed out in red is because it made for a better time lapse. But you could of course print them in any color. This was printed in a material called PLA. But I played around with this and I couldn't get them to work. And this was a modified version of the original model made from what I think is a Swede. At least he tried with some Swedish pet bottles, so... You might be from Sweden. I will link down to everything, even these that doesn't work and the other ones are printed. So let's put this aside and bring the other ones out. So I tried to sort this, which would fit for which bottle, hopefully. So for this, you have one top and you have different mounts for different bottles. But of course, you could print how many of the top ones as you want. And from the first batch, it actually works with these also. So I have two, but I can print two more if I want to. So let's give this a go and see which of these are working. I won't fill any beer today. I will just try to pressurize this because if it pressurized, we know that it's working. If you want to see me fill beer, I will link down. It's probably better I make an ITAP playlist. I will link down to the ITAP playlist down below. So you can go and check out my, my review, how I feel with the ITAP, some oxidization videos and more fun stuff. Let's 
start with this bottle. Let's see if it, it's working. One really cool thing about these clamps is this little fellow that we printed out for three of these four clamps. This is a wear layer. So instead of you wearing down your clamp, we're wearing out this one and you can reprint this little small part instead to print several of them. Good for the environment, smart thinking. I'm not taking credit for this at all. This is super smart and I'm... Ah! I'm not taking credit for this. This is not my invention. I'm just trying it out and sharing my experience. But, doctor, can you put... Yeah, thank you. So, this one was made by him, probably. I hope so. And uh, who made the, the holders? Ah, thank you. But you'll find links down below to, to all of the models. Let's try the first one. Okay, turn it. Ah, maybe close this one up. Yes, they're holding pressure. Okay, that one is working. Nice! Let's try the other one. I will label them, but I haven't really labeled my other ones, but I should really do that also. Let's go for the second one, the bottle with a little longer neck. And I did get some stringing here, but I'm guessing a blowtorch should fix that. I broke it. But it is working still, but I did break it. So, we know that it works. But I did break it. What part did I break? I broke the whole thing. The whole thing snapped off. That's not very good. First time using it, but it did work. Maybe if you have another material, maybe it's what me, I'm a rookie at printing. We'll link down to all the 3D printing videos. I'm a rookie at printing, so maybe it was my fault, but I did, I did break it the first time I, I used it. That's not good. Let's try this one for the pet bottles. There's some string in here also. Maybe I'm just too strong. So try a little bit, little bit gentle this time. Okay, close it up. Works like a charm. The third one is super interesting if it works because this is for swing top bottles. And it has a cut here, so the clamps you buy for the ITAP, you have to remove the swing top. If this works, Bowell, if you're watching, of course they're watching, you need to get back to the engineering desk. There's no fun taking these off and putting them on again if there's a better solution. But I haven't tried it yet. So let's get this one on there also. That's not working. I'll try to take this like wear and tear. I don't know what it's called, but this the wear layer, the wear ring off. Is this good content? Let's try it again. Now it's now it could work better. Okay, I'm stoked. Yes! Nice!
Awesome! So, Boel, back to the drawing board. Look at this. You just need a cutout. Maybe, maybe. We can do this ourselves. Boel, if you're watching, can you send me a spare clamp for the uh, swing top holders? And I will try to do this cutout myself. Or if someone else could like write to Boel and ask them to send me a clamp instead. I will try to modify it because I don't want to modify the only one I have or if someone else would like to sponsor me with one. The verdict is the clamp holders work fine. Should you print your own? You could do, but the original one is much less fiddly. But for swing top bottles, if Boel doesn't fix their ones, this is the shit. Not having to fiddle around with the swing top, that's freaking amazing. Here the iTab Pro, I don't have an iTab Pro, but here the iTab Pro shines because you don't have to take this off. And I think that version is much faster. I would love to give that a go against my other one. From testing today, the, the, the clamp holder worked fine. Print the swing top bottles and these ones Ah, uh, but I would print like reserves so have extra if, if someone breaks because this broke down on me. And I did use 20% infill for your 3D printers, but wasn't really there, it broke off. But if you don't want to fiddle around at all, you can actually fill beer straight from your kegerator or build this simple ghetto filler. Nice. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.